What ruined religion for you? Seeing a whole congregation of people perform an exorcism on a five-year-old boy, I was a teen youth leader at a Southern Baptist church I had been involved with for several years. During Sunday morning service one day, one of the deacons came from the children's church building next door and interrupted the preacher to whisper something in his ear. They both left immediately, and when they returned, were dragging a four- or five-year-old boy down the aisle who was screaming like a banshee. They ended up taking him in front of the church, holding him down, and reciting all sorts of bullshit about demonic possession, asking the churchgoers to come up to him and help banish the demon from the child, kinda ruined God for me. How agonizingly long and tedious Mass was as a Roman Catholic kid. Stand up, sing. Sit down. Then kneel. Then stand again. Sing again. Sit down. Stand up. Kneel and pray. Then 30 minutes of droning from the robed guy at the front. Then stand up and sing. Sit down. Stand up. WTF please make this end. When I was 12 my father pulled me aside and said, Son, you are old enough to decide about religion. I wanted to give you a chance to experience religion. If you want to keep going to church, you can, but it's also okay if you don't want to go anymore. I said, okay, I don't want to go anymore. My father said, okay, me too. And that was that. <laughs> Seeing how people use religion as an excuse to be shitty people around the world, so many people just bend their interpretation of a religion to fit whatever they want. <laughs> Religious leaders ruined religion for me. I never met a single priest who could tell me about heaven, but they all knew every square inch of hell, they should, they built it. There was never an answer, I wanted to believe desperately, I wanted to and I begged God to allow me to be doubtless. I tried and tried and tried to make it work. To make it fit, I asked questions. I wondered. I pondered. I just got to a point where there were no more answers. No one had an answer that made sense, nothing that the next person couldn't alter or contradict. Nothing that was set or fixed. It was all up in the air and I just needed more faith, I tried. I really did. But my mind just won't allow it anymore. Oh fucking god, I used to bus tables at a seafood place all the Catholics like to eat at for lunch on Sundays. Tables of 10 plus not tipping were leaving a $5 tip on the entire bill, kids throwing food all over the place, melted butter spilled onto tabletops and seats. Fucking religious pamphlets left in the bathroom sinks or left on the table in lieu of a cash tip, the absolute fucking worst were the ones printed to look like a $20 or $100 bill on the outside. Dot, literally the skeeviest fucking dive bar in town has a better customer base than most after church Sunday lunch at joints. Being told that being sexually abused as a child was a good thing as God needed to teach me a lesson on hubris and ego. I should accept it as a lesson and be better so I wouldn't fall into the clutches of the devil. I was seven, apparently I was asking for it. It quickly became evident that many people who call themselves religious only do so to feel morally superior to others around them and then use that superiority to try to control everything they can. This. I like to say that Jesus was a carpenter who gave his followers a hammer to build with. They took the hammer and started hitting other people with it. <laughs>